Hi, welcome to our video of our Mini Cooper S. This is a 2014 registered 63 reg, finished in chili red with the black roof and black wheels, as you can see. I'll give you a walk around the outside first, show you the condition. It's in really, really nice order. You can see on the front there, one or two stone chips on the front, but exactly as you'd expect it to be. And we'll come down on the passenger side, you can see there's no dents or scrapes down there. Wheels are all in really good condition as well. It's got Goodyear tyres all the way around, which are all in good order as well. Just up onto the roof there. So really good round here, quite often cars get, this is just a bit of water, um, quite often cars get a lot of scrapes on the top of the bumper step here from things going in and out of the boot, but not this one, it's all been well cared for. And to the driver's side, again, wheels all in really good condition. And the paintwork down there, it's got a nice deep shine and certainly not full of scrapes and dents. Just coming on the passenger front, uh, sorry, driver's side front wheel, that's all good as well. to the front so externally really really good condition lovely color combination in the black and red let's show you the inside so for the interior we'll start in the boot as normal all in good condition in there so these cars have a 50 50 split on the rear seat so you can pop the rear seats down if you need anything larger in there and of course the parcel shelf comes out should you need to have anything larger in the back these are just luggage nets in the back but the boot all in really good condition you can see the step there it's not got any signs of wear or anything like that on it and of course the inflation kit and tools are underneath the boot floor all present and correct the rear seats there this car has full leather interior which was a cost option when it was new all in good condition has had a child seat on this side so you can see the couple of marks in there they will just come out with a bit of use no problems there at all and to the front, so again, full of the seats, obviously. All in good condition on the front seats. We'll show you the driver's one in just a second, but just to come round, all the dash and plastics are all really good on the inside. As are the door cards. Let's get round to the driver's side. So driver's side door card, all good there. Definitely been looked after this car. There's no excessive wear on any of the switch gear, steering wheel, anything like that. It's really, really nice. Driver's seat. So again, not really anywhere to the bolsters or anything like that, all in good order inside. The view from the driver's seat. This car has the three spoke leather bound multifunction steering wheel. So we've got cruise control over on this side and this is to answer the phone. So of course it has Bluetooth and to control the radio or media controls to skip tracks or change the volume level. We'll start it up in a minute and take you through all the controls. All the warning lights go out. This is just the seatbelt light. If I put my seatbelt on, that goes out. And of course the handbrake light, if I take the handbrake off, that'll go out as well. So everything is good in that way. So let's just turn the radio on. Won't get any signal because we're inside the unit. So DAB radio there, it has. It's also got auxiliary and USB. You should be able to see down there. So if you want to plug your phone into playback music, you can do. If we just come over here, you can see. Press it again. Menu. There we go, telephone. So we've got the digital air conditioning, and also this car has heated front seats, which again would have cost, cost option at the factory. A little bit further down there, we've got the sport button, stop start, and the traction control. Of course, it's a six speed manual. So, all in all, really nice place to be. It's in great condition in here, actually. There's no excessive wear to any of the plastics, as I mentioned earlier. It's just really, really in great condition and definitely has been looked after. Just a quick look under the bonnet for you. So the 1.6 turbo engine, about 180 horsepower there, which is plenty in a car this size, I can assure you. Good service history with this car. It was serviced earlier this year, around about 2,000 miles ago. It's had all four ignition coils replaced as well, which are quite common on these to need, so they've been done. And obviously we'll be getting it MOT just to make sure everything else is okay before it goes away to its new owner. I hope that was a useful tour around our Mini Cooper S. As I mentioned earlier, this is the 2014 registered 63 reg, so it's registered first couple of months of 2014. 
we're going to do a new MOT on it for the new owner and of course it will come with a six month warranty. It was serviced just a couple of thousand miles ago earlier this year and as I mentioned it's had all four ignition coils replaced as well. It's in great condition, it drives very very well indeed so if you're interested please get in touch, drop us a message or give us a call and we'll be happy to tell you more about this stunning little Mini Cooper S.